Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing about XF Tool. Imagine you've just snapped this breathtaking photo, capturing an amazing sunset outside of your place. But what if I told you that there's secret data you have put on it that you may not have realized or intended to put on? Do you want other people to see that secret data? Do you want them to know? Every file will have metadata, which is information about the file itself. For example, a picture will have the basic things such as image length and height. It will have the camera you have taken on it, like an iPhone, but can also have your location, your GPS coordinates of where you took the picture. But what if the picture was of your house? It has your GPS coordinates. Do you want someone else knowing that? This is the secret data that you normally won't see, but I'm going to show you how you can see and modify this data using XF Tool. So I'm going to xftool.org, and I'm on Windows here, so I'm going to download the executable and I'm going to extract it. So I have it extracted and to see the metadata on the file. So for example, the picture that I have, I'm going to drag it over to it. More info, run anyway. And it's going to show the metadata on this file. So I'll go to the top here and there's a lot of metadata on this file. So I'm going to go through some of the metadata. There's the create date. So it goes back in 2018 on October 18th, and we got the time here as well, 18, 16, and 32 seconds. Scrolling down, and we see here the make, it's a Google phone, and the camera model name, it's a Pixel, so it's a Pixel 2 Google phone, and the software that was used to take the picture, HDR+. Plus. Keep scrolling down, there's the device manufacturer, we already know, Google and the image width and the image height and the GPS altitude, so it's 79.1 meters above sea level and the most important information, the GPS position. So this was taken 37 degrees, 1 minute and 47.83 seconds north and 27 degrees, 24 minutes, 47.75 seconds east. And then you can use this in Google Maps. So first I'm going to copy it, open up Notepad, and I'm going to remove the degrees. And I'm going to paste it into Google Maps. All right, so we see that it was taken in Turkey. I'm going to zoom in. And so here it's in Google Maps and going back to the picture. And here we can see that this is where the picture was taken. So we go back to Google Maps and we turn around. It was probably taken around here in this area. Going back to XF tool here, now let's say that you want to completely remove all of this metadata here. So nobody will be able to know anything about your picture. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to open up command prompt. I'm going to go to my XF tool folder. Now I'm going to rename the file. So it's just going to be xftool.exe. It's been renamed and in my downloads folder is the picture sunset.jpg and to make it easier I'm going to move the XF tool executable into my downloads folder. Okay so it's been moved and if I do a simple XF tool and then I put in sunset.jpg and we see all the metadata here. And now I'm going to remove all the metadata. And so I'm going to do dash off for all and equals, and there's going to be nothing. And then sunset.jpg. Okay, and the ICC profile deleted, image colors may be affected. And so I'm going to go DIR. And it keeps a copy of the original. And then here's the modified one. And so if I do XF tool and then sunset, 
uh, the sensitive metadata has been removed. And going back to the picture, I'm going to close and reopen it. And it opens up just fine. Going back to command prompt here, let's say I want to add or modify any metadata. So for example, I'm going to go back up and we see here there's make and it's Google. So I can put in, let's say, make and an apple. And I'm going to check it. And so we see here the make is Apple. And another one I can add or change is the camera model name. So this tag will just be model. And I can put in, for example, iPhone 14 Pro. And we check it and we see it here. So that's it. That's how you can view and make changes to the metadata of a file. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.